What's going on? It's Katie, and today I'm here with me, myself, and I, and we're gonna show you how to duplicate yourself. Before you even hop into Premiere, you need to make sure that your shot is a static shot on a tripod. You don't want it to move for both shots. The second thing you need to be sure of is to make sure neither of you pass this invisible line right here. If you pass this, you're gonna lose your arm or your head or some body part that passed the line. So your shot of you on the left and your shot of you on the right cannot pass this line. Now let's hop into Premiere Pro. First, drag your main clip into V1, and then drag your second clip on top of this into V2. Now switch your playback area to about 50%, and then we're gonna create a mask on this second clip. Outline the area that you want to be visible, and then click Invert on your mask. Now to make this effect nice and smooth, make sure you use the feather tool on your mask. This will make the edges blend a little bit better. And now if you wanna make the effect more realistic, you can nest the sequence and then add some motion to it. To nest it, select both clips, right click, and then select Nest. Go over to the beginning of your clip and then toggle scale, move over to the end of the clip and bring the scale up just a little bit. You can also toggle the position if you wanna give it a little bit of a shaky handheld movement, but I'm just gonna give it a nice motion in. And that's how you duplicate yourself in Premiere Pro.